Hey homies, what's up? It's the Tominator back with another one. So we've already discussed the top callout from the 2020 Mr. Olympia at length, but what about the second callout? I don't usually bother, but this is the Super Bowl of bodybuilding we're talking about, and this second callout is frankly better than just about any other show's top five. From left to right, we've got Akeem Williams, Hunter Labrada, Dexter Jackson, Justin Rodriguez, and Ian Valliere. These guys rounded out the top 10, along with William Bonac, who unfortunately will not be featured. So when they compared William, it was usually in the first callout, but I guess they had him firmly in fifth, so they didn't feel the need to make him go through the rounds again with numbers 6 through 10. It seems that Bonac honestly didn't have to do a lot of posing this year, Certainly nothing compared to the marathon the top four had to slog through. It's a shame because I was looking forward to assessing his physique, but we'll just have to make do without him. In this rear relaxed, I'd probably give it to Dexter. He's in the middle there wearing the red trunks. And you can see that even though he's giving up a lot of size, his back is the most detailed by a long shot. Justin Rodriguez to his right looks huge, but those delts are so fishy looking. I don't know, man. I don't like to cry about synthol like a, a lot of common internet trolls, because I'm pretty sure synthol isn't even used in the pro ranks anymore. They've almost certainly got more sophisticated sight enhancement methods today compared to 20 to 25 years ago. You know, ones that don't make you swell up like you just got stung by some mutated killer bee. But I mean, just look at how big and blocky they are, especially that right one. I've seen a lot of huge delts before, but usually they're rounder. This wonky shape sort of reminds me more of Rich Piana, uh, but we'll just leave it at that. Hunter Labrada's back is too smooth, and you can tell he's off a little by those wrinkly glutes. That's the guy in the black trunks on Dexter's left. Akeem Williams in the green looks great from the waist down. Best lower body in the shot, uh, but his back is soft and watery. That's really his Achilles heel. He never seems to be able to dry out through the back. And if he doesn't figure out a solution soon, I don't see how he's going to be able to take that next step and move into the top four. In the side relaxed, I really like Ian Valliere over there on the right. His side shots are his strongest, since he's got great thickness and detail and knows how to present himself to really minimize his waist. Even his conditioning somehow seems to instantly improve when he turns to the side. Not a big fan of Dexter here. His midsection sticking out a little too much, not enough to really hurt him, but what does hurt him is how badly outsized he's getting. This was a tall lineup, but I think all these guys are 5'10 or 5'11 and up, so this downsized version of Dexter Jackson is getting kind of bullied out there. Hunter looks pretty crazy upstairs with all those veins snaking across his chest and shoulders, yet the chest still remains a weak point for the young rookie because it's too flat. His legs are also looking a little soft here. Akeem Williams looks great, big and full as hell. He was just carrying so much dense muscle, it was hard to beat him. I'd have him second after Ian. But on to the mandatories, where in the front double, yeah, this is what I'm talking about with Akeem. He's just so massive upstairs through the arms and lats, and those quads are probably the best in the callout. He's got a ton of wow factor in this pose with that tiny waist and incredible taper. Even when they had him standing next to Brandon Curry, he was arguably beating the former Mr. O, if only because the legs are so much better. Suffice it to say, I think it's an easy win for him here. Hunter's strong though too. He's got really good balance from top to bottom and boasts the best calves in this group. His only real shortcoming is the lats. They need more width, especially standing next to someone like Akeem. Rodriguez looks good, but is a little blocky through the waist. He needs to shave a couple inches off the middle and add an inch or two to the thighs, and this pose would flow a whole lot better. I don't like Ian's posing here. I swear he's shrugging the shoulders, which, okay, it might make the delts appear more capped, but it detracts from his width and makes the pose look stiff and closed off. The arm position looks kind of questionable, too. His elbows are a little low and seem to be drifting forward too much. Downstairs he looks great through the quads, excellent sweep, but the calves are practically non-existent. And Dexter, ah man, this pose really says it all. Formerly one of his strongest shots, this front double biceps shows just how much he's deteriorated. The arms and lats have shrunk significantly compared to previous performances, 
especially that left arm, which doesn't even look pro level anymore. Let's be frank, he's getting destroyed right now. He just doesn't have the necessary mass or fullness to hang with this crew. On the plus side, the legs in midsection are showing pretty decent separation, but I'd still have to put him last here. And sad to say, but it's not about to get any easier in the front lat spread. This was always Dexter's weakest pose throughout his entire career. His lats don't present well here, and he looks narrow and small. On the flip side, Akeem is totally crushing it. He's got an Orville Burke thing going on with the high lats jutting out like that at such a sharp angle. I love everything about this pose, except for his chest. Maybe it's more of a personal pet peeve, but I prefer guys with square pecs in this shot. Akeem's are very rounded, and it sort of gives the illusion that his chest isn't as wide. He still probably takes this one, though. Hunter looks good, quite aesthetic even. Great outline and shoulder-to-waist ratio. If he brings up the lats and adds some thickness to the chest, he'll be almost untouchable in it. But as it is, he's not filling it out enough yet. Rodriguez over there on the left looks kind of wonky again. I noted this in prior contests that despite how wide his back is from the rear, it doesn't translate in this pose. You can see he's super broad shoulder to shoulder, but he barely has any V-taper to speak of. He looks way too blocky here. Ian Valliere is filling it out big time, but again, I gotta kinda question his posing technique. He's bringing the elbows forward again, which does close the gap between the arms and the lats, but it also makes him appear narrower. You can tell by comparing the angle of his arms to the other guys. It just looks a little off. Even so, it's one of his stronger poses. He's got a great X-frame and is arguably winning it. I'd say it's between him and Akeem. Here's a closer look, and yeah, you can tell that Dex is way out of his depth. I think even including him in this callout was perhaps a little generous on the part of the judges, because he's going to struggle to win any poses getting outmasked this badly. I'm leaning towards Akeem right now. Ian is close, but Akeem definitely has a size advantage, and I prefer his more open posing stance, splaying out the limbs and really making himself look big as opposed to Ian, who is sort of doing the opposite. Okay, I've been pretty harsh on Valier so far, but I'll tell you what, I think he takes the side chest. His chest is actually a weak point, but it looks respectable enough right now, and the rest of his physique looks exceptional. The side leg is full and defined, the arms and shoulders are massive, but what really clinches it for me is the midsection. It's sucked in and downright tiny here, making his upper body look as big as humanly possible. Akeem, aka the Brooklyn Beast, is living up to his nickname because he's looking positively beast-like here as well. The density is just off the charts. His side leg has always been a major selling feature, and he's really brought up his shoulders in the past year or two, to the point where now, his rear delt is the best in the picture. But he's not controlling the stomach, and sure, it gets kind of covered by the arm in this pose, but that's no excuse. It mars his outline, and for that reason, I don't think he deserves to be rewarded. If he just reined it in a bit, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat, but as it is, I gotta go with Ian. After those two, it's probably gotta be Justin. Hunter's not turning enough, and Dexter is simply too small. From the rear, this is where Dexter can finally start making up some ground, because aside from Justin Rodriguez on the far left, nobody else has a top tier back. Even the size difference doesn't seem as bad now. Dexter looks basically the same size as Ian, and his lats are way better developed. The only advantage Ian has over him is the thigh sweep. Well, I guess slightly bigger traps and shoulders too, but overall, Dexter's more complete. Akeem Williams looks like he's holding a film of water across his entire back. You give him Dexter's sharpness, and he wins this pose in a landslide. He's like a discount Brandon Curry here from the waist up. And from the waist down, he's even better. Hunter Labrada seems to be getting stronger as they go along. It might just be a, a well-timed pick, but he looks tighter now compared to the rear relaxed. There's less wrinkles around the glutes, and the lower back looks pretty crisp. His main problem is the lack of back thickness. He can never change his lat insertions, but he can add more thickness to that back, and that would make a huge difference. If he can bring that up and nail his conditioning 100%, He'll find himself among the top callout, no problem. 
Rodriguez really shines in these back poses. He looks super dry and has a ton of thick, knotted muscle. The shoulders and biceps look incredible too. He's lacking detail downstairs, however. The glutes could be more striated, and the hamstrings need to show more separation. That would really make this pose unstoppable for him. Even so, I'd still probably give him the nod here. It's between him, Dexter, and Akeem. Hunter and Ian both need to bring up their backs more. In the lat spread, Valier fares much better. Hunter still looks way too smooth though, so I'd probably have him in last. Justin Rodriguez has to take this one because his back is just on another level. His lats seem to fan out right from the waist. He's got a ton of surface area to work with and still fills it with a lot of detail. And while his lower body leaves something to be desired, it's still good enough to get him over the finish line. Akeem would be second. Most guys lack sharp detail in this pose, so compared to the back double, his lack of polish doesn't hurt him as much here. And those lats are so broad, the traps so meaty, and once again, that lower body is the best from the rear. You know what, there's even a case for Akeem over Justin here. I think Justin beats him through the upper body, but I actually prefer Akeem's shape there, how the lats flare out from such a small waist, and his lower body is unquestionably better than Justin's. So, screw it, I'm changing my mind and going with Akeem here. In third, it's gotta be Dex. This pose isn't as strong for him as it used to be, because he's lost some mass and width, but he's still got too much quality for Ian or Hunter, especially through the traps and hammies. The side tricep goes to Hunter though, hands down. Best lateral head and picture perfect execution. The midsection is flexed and on point, and the Dorian-esque stance showing off the trailing calf is a thing of beauty. After that, I like Ian. As I said, he's super strong from the side, and his body shows the most detail and hardness in these shots. If only his triceps horseshoe could match up to Hunter's. In third, I'm sure many people would go with Justin. He looks sharper than Akeem and has adopted a more aesthetic stance. I'm just not crazy how flat his chest and triceps look here, and that waistline is still pretty thick, even though he's doing a good job keeping it in check. I think Akeem's chest and tricep look a little better here, so I'd give him a slight edge. But let's take another look so we can reassess, and include Dexter as well. Yeah, so on second glance, nah, I'm going with Justin over Akeem this time. It appears that Williams was having some minor distension issues during uh, the transition, so even though it looks like he's coming out of the pose, that doesn't mean you can relax and get sloppy. This still isn't a great look for Dex, but yeah, I'm not sure he could beat any of them on this one anyway, since the side try was never a very strong pose for him to begin with. Hunter's still crushing it though. If you ask me, this is his best pose by far. In the ab and thigh, we don't get a good look at everyone, but there was only one picture, so this'll have to do. And Akeem wins it easily. He's the only guy with a good midsection and thighs in this callout. He's very tight through the obliques, and that X-frame is money. Ian's got great quads, but it doesn't look like they're fully flexed here. They usually show better separation than that. And his abs are pretty messy looking. Hunter's not even in the pose, whereas Rodriguez's midsection is a total wreck. Wide, blocky, and washed out. It's a terrible look, honestly, and the waist-to-thigh ratio is equally appalling for a top pro. This is the main reason why I'm not really a fan of the guy. He's got amazing individual body parts like that back and those biceps, but until he gets it together with the legs and midsection, he'll always be a second tier bodybuilder. Dexter looks surprisingly good here, but the ab definition is very faint. I'd still probably have him second after Akeem though, because Ian's abs are just too scrambled looking and it ruins his aesthetic appeal. In the most muscular, I really like Hunter. The way his chest and shoulders come alive with all that vascularity, and his overall shape and structure can hang with the best of them here. Akeem looks solid, but I'm not sure this was the smartest choice for him, as his arms don't present that well in this one. You really want to have awesome outer sweep on the triceps to effectively hit a hands-together variation. That's why Justin likewise looks a little off, because it's way too much biceps and not enough triceps. But back to Akeem, who actually looks a little bottom heavy in this shot as well. Not a great look for a most muscular in my opinion. I think he could do better. 
Valier, once again, I feel is doing himself a bit of a disservice with his posing. Uh, rotating his shoulders in like that really pinches his chest together and sacrifices width. Dexter's actually the best proportion next to Hunter. He's got those cannonball delts, and the arms and even the quads both look really good. His only shortcoming is the size aspect. He's simply giving up too many inches and pounds to these others. So yeah guys, I mostly agree with these placings. For the record, just in case you didn't know, it was Akeem Williams in 6th, Ian Valier in 7th, Hunter Labrada 8th, Dexter Jackson 9th, and Justin Rodriguez in 10th. Like I said in my last video, I probably would have swapped Dexter and Justin, uh, just because I feel like Justin beat him in more poses, but it's not a big deal. Akeem was definitely the front runner in this group, while Ian managed to edge out Hunter with better conditioning. It's a pretty straightforward result in the end. But that's just my take. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below, and I'd be especially curious to hear where you'd rank Dexter at this year's Olympia. It was tough to compare him at times because of the size difference. He was sort of the odd man out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more. Until the next time, it's the Tominator signing out, and I'll be back.